not if, but when. That's why the CDC wants our local governments to plan for the risks of a bioterrorism or disease pandemic. Today, emergency officials in Bradford County tried out their outbreak preparedness plan for the first time. WETM 18 News reporter Anna Liss has the story. Bradford County is practicing its mass medication plan to help ease the concerns of people who don't think the government is well prepared to deal with a disease outbreak or bioterrorism event. I don't have much trust right now in the government and how they would respond to things. I know that they're catching a lot, but they're missing a lot too. It could be any pandemic type, bird flu, anything that uh, where the public would need um, uh, medication on a large scale. It's something that we can't just go to a drugstore and pick up. This, this would be uh, uh, doses in the thousands. Under this drill, authorities assume they've lost 70% of their staff. Schools and hospitals are the first to be put on alert. And that's the premises, and that's what everyone actually plans for. That in a pandemic, uh, you'd, have, uh, you'd lose so many uh, staff members and support personnel to, to, to manage your facility. And in that case, you would be having extremely high census because the general public, there'd be a lot of sick people. Here at Robert Packer Hospital, as soon as the medications are received, patients, employees, and employee family members would have to receive them at this point of distribution. Members of the general public would have to line up at area schools. Tawanda High School and Lynch Boston Elementary School in Athens. Those schools serve as mass vaccination or prophylaxis clinics for the general population. Around 70,000 doses of medication were distributed as part of this drill. Officials say it was a success. In Tawanda, on a list, WETM 18 News. The Centers for Disease Control also lists ways that you can prepare for bioterrorism or a pandemic at home. We'll link you there from our website at wetmtv.com.